and you would never leave. Would you? Are you gonna stay your whole life? Like, what if someone, someone in LA is like, "Yo, Ramiro, we got the big spot for you, dog. Big bucks, baby." I would talk to them, but honestly, right now, it's when I first started in radio, I was like, "I'll go to LA, New York, whatever." But now, I've I've built such a foundation here that I think just leaving here to go try somewhere new is. Uh, I wouldn't be as let's just do it as I, as I would have been when I started out, because I think I, I, I've built something here that again, it's, I can, I'm using the words get away, but it's, I don't know if that's the right phrase to say, but I can get away with doing and saying more here just because I've developed a relationship with the listeners. Plus, I mean, I also have my wife and kids, so mm-hmm. it's not just like me getting out of here, but what I listen to the conversation. Eh, yeah. I mean, if you don't take a risk, it, yeah, I, it's, it, depending on what it is, I, I might, be down to go somewhere well how have opportunities changed for you now that like the radio mediums has transitioned because people are in a podcast people get their media different ways uh so yeah so i, I it's funny because i was doing a, a podcast for a little while so i was doing that on the side but i think it's a lot of um it, stuff like this i love it i'm always getting asked to do different podcasts or shows because everybody has their own little Yo, did you get a lineup for this, bro? What was that? Did you get a oh, lineup me? for no, this? Dude, this not, you know what's funny? My my wife's mother has been cutting my hair because oh, no I can't way. go to my normal guy. I know, <laughs> dead ass. Does, and she usually does a terrible job of it. But <laughs> the last couple times, they've been decent. <laughs> but no, I mean, I'm getting... Beard's crazy. looking crispy, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. But I've got, I mean, I get a lot of opportunities. For a while, I was doing stuff with Ness and for Red Sox. I used to host a show called Community Auditions, which was like a New England version of American Idol. Um, a lot of people asked me to do like little local movie stuff and things like that. So I like doing all those things. But every time I've, I've gotten the opportunity to do something like that, I, I always make sure that I um, let them know that this, what I'm doing as far as the radio, that's like my number one thing. So I never would do anything that would mess with that schedule or, or it I just look at it like they, that's my base that's mm-hmm. the tree trunk right there everything else is kind of like a branch off that tree and I think a lot of people just in general I, I you know I, I know a lot of people who've done radio and stuff like that where they get opportunities presented to them and they'll um they kind of forget the balance and they're trying too much to do this new thing and they forget about what got them there and then they lose the new thing and they lose what got them there so I learned from other people's mistakes. The tree trunk analogy is a lot like a, a Tony Robbins inspirational speech. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, talks it's about it like that. Yeah. It's cool to have like a million opportunities and to try stuff, but you got to remember what, what brought you to the dance, you know?